everybody, Nick Ebbs, the Vaping Fucking Bogan, back once again, cunts, with another piece of hardware to have a fucking squiz at this evening. Tonight, we're going to check out something from a company called Yep Esig. Uh, yep, you've probably never fucking heard of them. I hadn't either, but they've sent me the, uh, the Hell's Gate 200 watt touch screen mod. There you go. So, obviously, it's got a big fuck off touch screen. It does 200 watts, as I mentioned, and it apparently does temp controlled nickel, titanium, and stainless bloody steel. So, look, when they emailed me about this product, you know, generally I have had bad experiences or, you know, not been very impressed with sort of no name, unknown Chinese companies. But the big touch screen kind of, uh, you know, piqued my interest, pricked me fucking ears up. And I thought, yeah, why not? Fucking send one over. We'll have a squiz at it. We'll do a bit of a review. And I had uh, somewhat high hopes for it. Um, unfortunately, cunts, I was nothing but disappointed, frustrated, and just generally fucking outraged at the absolute ridiculously poorly design uh, that they've put into this. It is... It, it, I am fucking speechless. I honestly don't know how to fucking describe this this mod adequately so that you really understand just what a piece of shit it is. So we're going to go through why I think this mod is is fundamentally flawed. Uh, let's start off with a fucking vape though, shall we? Have a little fucking vape. Now I've got some 0.34 ohm coils in here. They're designed to be on a series mod. They run beautifully on a series mod. Might I fucking add, uh, there's some coils from Mortal Coil, so check out his shit on Instagram, Mortal underscore Coil. Thank you, sir, for passing these ones on. Sorry to involve you in such a, a piss poor uh, effort from uh, from our friends at Yep Esig, but anyway, I digress. 150 watts is what I'm going to run them at because, yeah, it's a set designed for a series mod. Uh, 7.1 volts is what I should be getting. Now it's got a touch screen, so I better just uh, better just lock the screen there, cunts. Make sure that. Uh, Obviously, as I wrap my uh, my fingers around this mod, that uh, that the screen doesn't get adjusted. Don't want to go to you know 200 watts or uh, or down to five or something like that. So uh, let's let's take it for a vape, shall we? Now, you might be wondering what the fuck is going on right now. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. What's happening is, despite the screen being locked and the uh, fire button is supposed to be unlocked, which it is, as soon as you touch the screen, this little message appears and asks you if you want to unlock the mod. All right? Now, that's all good and well if I do want to unlock the mod, but unfortunately, as soon as that message appears, I can no longer fire the mod. Okay, so here we have no fingers on the screen. Fire the mod. If I want to adjust it, oh, our little message happens. Can't fire the mod. Now, this is doubly fucking disappointing because this is not the first little 200 watt uh, Hell's Gate mod that they've sent me. This is the second one. The first one had no screen lock capabilities whatsoever. You had to lock the entire mod. Uh, you couldn't fire it with the screen locked. It locked everything, fire button and screen. So I sent them a message. I said, what is going on here? I can't fucking, uh, you know, lock the screen. So my fingers are always adjusting the wattage uh, as I take a vape. Because who vapes their mod like this? Nobody's, nobody's holding their mod. A little fucking vape show, a little vape. You vape it like this, don't you? You hold your fucking hand around it like a fucking, you know, human. And, uh, and you have a vape. So they said, oh, we've fixed this screen issue. We've added a lock screen function, which allows you to lock the screen, but not lock the fire button. And we're sending you out another one. So, uh, you know, it is firmware upgradable, apparently. So I don't understand why they don't just upgrade the firmware. But anyway, they, they, they sent me out another one. And I said, great, they're going to fix the touch screen issue. That'll be fucking brilliant. Then I can have my fingers wrapped around the mod and I can still fire it. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't really think much further than just putting a lock screen function and then having this little message appear, which also locks you out from firing it. So what the fuck was the point in your whole solution to the problem? You've just created another problem. Fuck me. Absolutely daft. I, I, I honestly do not think that the people that designed, manufactured, uh, developed, and then tinkered and changed it, even fucking vape, they don't have the first clue about how you hold a mod. So, that's my first issue, but let's have a vape, shall we, can't? So I'll, uh, I'll lock the screen and, uh, 
and uh, make sure that I, uh, I hold it ever so carefully so as not to uh, awake our little uh, message. Hooray, we do have vapor production, fantastic. It actually does fire. All right, cunts, before we go any further, I need a fucking beverage because, yeah, this, this is just, it's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Where's me fucking bottle opener? The fuck is going on? Right, so this evening we're going to enjoy a nice little fucking beverage from uh, Victory uh, Brewing. Uh, this is a Golden Monkey. Now, Victory Brewing, are, where the fuck are they? They're in the States somewhere. Downington, PA. I'm not sure what the PA, which state that is, so apologies, cunts. You can probably put that in the description for anybody who wants to know. Downington in PA, which uh, is, anyway... Uh, a magical, mystical monkey whose golden soul glows with the wisdom of the ages. This radiant ale is rich in spirited tradition of Belgian-inspired brewing. Our golden monkey is both playful, delightful, and profoundly satisfying. Exotic spice from the east rounds out this global journey to joy. Get on board. This monkey's bound for glory. So there you go. All right, cunts. So, uh, yeah, as I said, it's a USA uh, in the state of PA. So, yeah, so I didn't do my fucking research. Anyway, cunts, it's uh, supposed to be a nice drop. So, with the Belgian, uh, whoop. Belgian style, it is uh, rather bubbly. It's a bit fucking uh, fizzy, which is nice. Little uh, ga golden amber sort of uh, coloration to it, and as you can see, a uh, fairly substantial bit of head. Smells wheaty, which is what we generally get from the uh, the Belgians, and there is definitely a little bit of uh, a little bit of sediment sort of mixed in through there. Let's have a fucking swill. That's really fucking nice. So it's uh, quite a wheaty sort of flavour to it. Very fucking uh, effervescent, quite uh, carbonated which is nice if it bubbles across your tongue with that wheatiness and then rounds out with uh, almost a sweetish sort of spice to it. You can taste whatever fucking spices they're throwing in there. A little bit sort of a uh, spice to the end of it, but quite uh, sweet and fruity as well. Definitely a nice warm weather beer. <sighs> Excuse moi All right, so away from the good stuff that is that beer, and back to honestly the most disappointing mod of 2016. Now, cunts, I'm going to jump in and up and close. I'm going to show you what this mod has on board, but there's just so many disappointing things from it. I, I, I honestly, I don't know how to adequately. Uh, to tell you all about them. So let's just jump in there. I'm going to show you all the fucking things that I think are wrong with it. We'll jump back out. I'll point out a few more and uh, run you down on some of the backstory, uh, the emails that have gone to and fro. Because I didn't just get this mod and then slam the shit out of it. I have contacted the company um, about the issues and their response has been... What's the word for it? Basically in denial and... Uh, completely ignorant of what they've created. So, uh, let's jump in there and have, fu have a fucking squeeze, cunts. All fucking righty, cunts. Let's open up this shit box. And all that. Uh, apparently, it can produce 12 volts of power. Yeah, fucking right, out of 218 650s. The fuck out of here. All right. Open her up. We've got a little uh, micro USB cable. Oh, yes, very handy. Probably the most useful thing that I have received in this entire package, the fucking cable. We'll actually probably use that again. Then again, that may just fucking do something bullshit on me. Uh, we get a little polishing cloth. Oh, actually, number two. I will probably use this again. These little microfiber cloths can be kind of handy. I do wear glasses outside of the videos, so that might come in handy. Fucking cheers. All right. Here's our device. Woo! 
massive fucking screen, dickheads. Look at that. We've got a fucking fire button on the side. Apparently, she will charge your batteries. And it says that it will do two amp charging, five volts. Uh, yeah. Have my fucking doubts about that, cunts. But anyway, uh, that's it. Look at some little smiley face, though. That's kind of cute. Little fucking, how you going, mate? There you go. Alright, cunts, that's it. Uh, up the top, you've got the, uh, the 510 spring-loaded stainless steel platform. That's all good. A little bit of contouring here. You've got like a rubberized... I'd say it's metal, maybe, because it's pretty fucking heavy, this device. It's, it's actually really fucking heavy for a dual 18650 device. I would say that it is possibly even heavier than a Snowwolf. Mm, no, it weighs about as much as a Snowwolf. I'd say it's a fucking glass. All right, cunts, let's uh, open her up on the back. We've got a, a glass back here. And might I add that if you do manage to drop this cunt, the glass meets right to the edge. In fact, the glass is the first thing that is going to make contact with the ground because of this little beveled edge here. It's kind of like the Samsung edge. You know what I mean? You've got this little bit of glass that goes down the side, so when you drop it, the fucking glass just breaks. Yeah, great design there, guys. Don't worry about putting maybe a metal ring around the glass to kind of protect it. Nah, we don't expect anyone to fucking drop shit. All right, moving on. Batteries, positive, negative, negative, positive. Little ribbon. Now, the ribbon is placed fucking in a dipshit spot as well because you got to put your battery in, right? So we'll put our fucking battery in here. A little uh, negative up the fucking top there. Yep, in you go, cunt. So this one here, I can, I can pull him out easily. But now I've got to do this little fucking wrap over this battery. And I've got to put him in here. Why not just have the fucking ribbon coming from one side of the mod, going across the two? So I just plonk, plonk, and then just pull, and the whole thing comes out. No, we've got to do something fucking retarded. All right. Let's turn it on. Five clicks. Hell's Gate. Oh, look at that text, mate. So original. Much fucking wow. And there he is. The vaping bogan himself. G'day, mate. Nice to fucking see you. Uh, so they have uploaded a little background on here, which is kind of uh, cool, I suppose. I do like the uh, like the personal touch. So fucking cheers, guys. Uh, one of maybe uh, two positives out of this device. All right. Got our wattage here, which we can adjust by touching the screen. But as you can see, it's a little bit jumpy. So I might want to just do... Oh, I just want to do one watt. No. No. I want, I want one watt. One watt. Oh, there we go. So the wider you go on the screen, the faster it goes. But there's no real obvious spot where that happens. So there's one watt up and then... Oh, now I've got like five watts up. Fuck me, that's annoying. We can also adjust it by touching these little arrows at the bottom here. So it's a touch screen and then like your little, uh, little phone style batteries, kind of like your iPhones and shit like that. We've got our ohms up the top here. We've got each battery. We've got each battery there but no voltage, so don't, or percentage, so again, fail on the use of screen space, I've got all this space here, why don't you fucking use it, give me some battery stuff, we've got our amps over here, and we've got our voltage, and that is just basically calculated on the ohms, you know, versus the watts, and it tells me how many volts that is, and how many amps that is, there's no live readings, alright cunts, so if I was to go and screw something in here, uh, to give me some sort of a live reading, won't give me any of that, just basically a, a calculation upon the maximum. Have a look at the menu system. We've got TC mode. Uh, they do this ridiculous uh, two options. So one of these is Celsius. One of them is Fahrenheit. One of these is Celsius. One of these is Fahrenheit. And one of these is Celsius. And one of these is Fahrenheit. VTC, so that means uh, variable temp... Celsius and variable temp Fahrenheit, maybe, I don't know, but the F and the C, you can see it, yeah. Why not just go, you know, stainless steel and then, you know, select Fahrenheit or Celsius from there. But no, they've got all of these buttons for that. So who, the, who the fuck thought of putting... The, oh, it, just, it, it just boggles the mind, cunts. Uh, we've got variable wattage, obviously. We've got changing the background. And check out the backgrounds. Oh, that's that's pretty done. 
Yep, some more sky. Whoa, where's that? Is that... That's, I reckon I've seen that in Windows 98. You cunts have stolen that. Straight out of fucking Windows. Good job. Well done. Uh, that one there kind of looks like a face. He's got his two eyes, a little bit of a nose, kind of a smile there. Sort of a Pablo Picasso meets Tron. Uh, very nice. Very fucking bullshit. And then you got my dickhead face. Unfortunately, not available with the standard issue Hell's Gate 200 watt mod. Uh, you'll need to download the picture and upload it yourself. On this one, oh, what's that? Is that the Milky Way? Milky Way? Oh, nice. Uh, another shot of some stars. And we're... Like, honest, who the fuck came up with these backgrounds? Jesus. Uh, then we've got help. Which, you know, pretty... pretty. Oh, you're looking at scroll. It's kind of cool. I love this. Battery voltage is lower than 6 volt when smoking. And this is why I think that they don't vape. They call it smoking. It's lower than 6 volts when smoking. We're not smoking, cunts. We're fucking vaping. Overtime protection. Yeah, whatever. Like, just... the. W it looks like something out of fucking DOS. Like Microsoft DOS. Oh... It's just, it's just, it's, it's fucking shit. Uh, and then puff info. So, oh, okay. So the time is the total time that I've been vaping. Oh, we're back to zero. It's not the time at all. It's my puff counter. Why am I not excited by that? Because who gives a fuck how many puffs I've had or how long I've been puffing? Jesus. Like a puff counter, I can understand, like one puffs or two puffs or three puffs, but this is a puff counter. So the total amount of minutes, hours puffed. Who the fuck cares about that? That's what you decide to put on there? The real time would be fucking interesting. All right, I think, I think I'm done here, cunts. I'm, I think I'm done. So there you fucking go, dickheads. A close-up bloody squiz at this absolute piece of crap. So, first thing is first, just look at the fucking screen. A complete and utter waste of, you know, real estate there. So much screen real estate, and all they give me is the ohms, the volts, the amps, and none of it is live. It's just purely what it is, you know, based on the, the power that I've set it at and the ohms that I've got on there. So, I really, really think that if you're going to have a fucking big touch screen, well, fucking use it, cunts. You could give me the battery percentage underneath the little battery diagrams. You could give me live wattage, live voltage, live ohms. You could give me so many different things, but instead, you just give me a massive fucking background. Now, I sent them some messages to and fro about the issues that I have with this mod, and one of them was the screen real estate. Why haven't you fucking given us anything useful, you know, in terms of live readings? And their response was simply, we want to make the background more beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. There's so much room there. You could put all sorts of fucking information and still see the background quite clearly. Complete, just, oh, I, I, I guarantee that that is not the reason why they haven't put any of that on there. I guarantee that it's a cheap and easy way to fucking put out a product that gives you all oh, big fucking screen, big background, but we're not going to actually put any thought or technology into the chip. We're not going to give you any live readings because that would actually require development and research and real technology. Instead, we're just going to make it pretty with a big fucking background and no fucking useful information in terms of, you know, live readings. The fuck are they thinking? It looks like an iPhone from like 2007. Like, fuck me. The font. What is that? Fucking, you know, Times New Roman or, uh, or Impact or something straight out of a fucking Microsoft Word document? Honestly, you've put zero design effort into putting this mod together. The screen layout, the, the little images for your menu system. Just absolutely piss poor. But that, cunts, is just one of the major gripes that I have. Along with the whole screen locking issue that I went through before and having to hold my mod in this ridiculous finger position so that I don't touch the screen and adjust anything. Fuck me. The huge and, and just absolute 
deal breaker, game over fucking problem with this mod is the output and the power that it delivers. Now, normally we're fucking complaining about mods, you know, being underpowered or not putting out quite the wattage that we think they are or misreading the temperature by a bit. That is not the case with this mod here, cunts. This cunt here is, you know, for the first time, way overpowered. Let me fucking explain, and let me, let me just explain to you, you know, quite simply with a visual display, okay? Let's do a little fucking visual display. Got my coils here, they're reading at 0.35 ohms now, 0.35. I have got the, uh, the device set to 5 watts, okay? You can all see that clearly, the 5W, 5 watts. And if you look very closely here, it says that at 5 watts on a 0.35 ohm coil, I should be generating around 1.3 volts, okay? 1.3 volts, point, or 3.8 uh, amps, 0.35 ohm build. 5 watts. Have a look and tell me if you think that is 5 watts. Five watts. Have a look at that, cunts. Check out me build on five fucking watts. Could fucking... Five watts. Get the fuck out of here. That is nowhere near five watts. So what's going on? What's fucking happening here that, uh, that is pumping the power so high? And we can try this at any wattage. You know, we can go to 10 watts. Same fucking thing. I have burning hot vapor flying off this thing and hitting me in the hand. At 10 watts. At 5 watts. At 3 watts. Well, don't do 3. But at 7 watts. Whatever. i tell you what's going on, cunts. I noticed this problem because I put a tank on here at 80 watts and I was getting burning. I was getting dryness and burning and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I vaped this exact same tank, pulled it off my rouleau, put it on here, set it to 80 watts, had a vape. Burning, burning, what the fuck is going on? So, I could tell there was some kind of ramp or, or boost system. Now, many mods that have come out in the last six or so you know, months have had a, a boost or buck system. Okay, smock are, uh, you know, big paraders of this boost and buck system. So, boost and buck basically means, you know, your, your boost system, oh. very simply, boosts the wattage or boosts the uh, power output for a desired amount of time, generally, you know, maybe a quarter or a half second. And what that is intended to do is to sort of take a coil from room temperature, you know, up really quickly with a little bit extra oomph for the first half second and then sort of plateau at the desired wattage that you've set it at. Uh, we've seen this with the 350J series from uh, Yeehe. These chips have a powerful mode, they have a powerful plus mode, essentially boosting the initial power that is provided to the coil for the first, let's say, half second normally. That's, you know, generally what they're doing. These other chips, these other mods, have an ability to turn that off, turn it on, to adjust it more or less through a, a soft, a hard, you know, a max system sort of, uh, you know, option. Uh, this mod has no such feature to adjust or change or turn off this boost system. Instead, what it's doing is actually boosting the, uh, the voltage directly. And I know this because we took an oscilloscope at work, uh, an oscilloscope measuring, you know, obviously power output uh, through a, you know, pretty simple connection of positive and negative, reads the, the voltage. Now this is, as I might have mentioned earlier, the actual second Hell's Gate that they've sent me. The first one I noticed was doing the same thing. So we actually read, you know, what output it was giving. It was pumping out 4 volts at 5 watts. You know, 5 watts setting on the mod, 4 volts actually discharged for the first half second and then it dropped down to the 1 volt it was supposed to be at. So I messaged Yep, eSig, and I said, uh, what's going on? This thing is boosting to some ridiculously over-the-top voltage. You know, not ridiculously over-the-top if you've got the right coil and the right wick. Four volts, not a, not a crazy voltage. But if you put something on here that's designed to be vaped at, uh, you know, 
three volts, you know, a, a 0.2 ohm coil, you know, you want to run it at 65 watts or something like that, and it's not meant to go past there, you're going to get burnt cotton. And that's what I was getting with my tank. Their response was, and I, I, I don't know the exact quote, but it was something along the lines of, we want to make massive, give vapors massive cloud. Some broken English bullshit about giving vapors massive cloud. Clearly missing the point as to what vapors may actually want. Not all vapors want massive fucking cloud. What if someone puts a Nautilus on here? What if somebody puts, you know, anything that's designed to be under four volts? Well, they're going to get burnt cotton. Now, the other issue well, this issue, should I say, got even fucking worse because when I messaged them and told them about this, they said, "Ah, oh, we're sending you another mod. We're sending you another one with uh, with the screen locking system on there." And uh, lo and behold, what turned up? This one here, and this is even fucking worse, cunts. This thing is putting out over eight volts of power every single time you hit the fire button for the first half second. So I can be on 5 volts, and that's what you saw there, cunts, sorry, 5 watts. That's what you saw there, cunts, was 5 watts, but actually being discharged through these coils was a total of a between 8 and 9 volts. It fluctuated a little bit depending, uh, but we were, we were pushing 9 volts. We were pushing up to 9 volts. I, mean, I don't even know how this chip is, is producing 9 volts out of a, a dual 18650 setup. You know, obviously, you can get a maximum on a mechanical mod of 8.4 volts. You can boost voltage a little more with certain chips. So this chip certainly seems to be capable of boosting voltage because we were getting above 8.4 volts on the oscilloscope. Way, way too much power. You can't turn that off. You can't adjust it. You can't make it a point, you know, two of a second. It's half a second-ish, nine volts doesn't matter what wattage what you've got it set to. So, it's fucked. It's completely fucked. It's absolutely useless to majority of vapors. Who the fuck wants 9 volts through their coils for the first half second? Absolutely, fundamentally, off its fucking tree. The most, you know, unresearched, undeveloped, untested device that I've ever come across. And I have tried with yet eSig, you know, to message them and ask them, hey, what's going on here? Why are you doing this thing here? Why don't you do this? This, this is, these are the flaws. Before I fucking post this video, I want to hear their feedback and their response. And their response basically was, we want to make big vapor. We want the screen to be beautiful. This is great for vapors. Fucking completely uninterested in hearing any sort of feedback, any sort of criticism, and actually taking that and then using it maybe to correct some of the errors. These are not just me complaining about things that I don't like. These are fundamental, absolute blunders with this device. I strongly recommend nobody buy this device. Don't even think about it. It is useless. I will not vape on this. I will not give it away to someone. In fact, I might even post a fucking video of me smashing the shit out of these things with a fucking hammer because they are absolutely dogs crap. I just and I don't know, I don't even know what to say. I have no words other than fucking absolute shit and to yep e-cig, you're a bunch of fuckwits. I bet I bet I bet you don't even fucking vape. I bet none of you even understand what an electronic cigarette is supposed to deliver for the average vapor. You clearly don't because you don't understand why you don't want to why you boosting a fucking mod to 9 volt or 8 something volts is just oh. And the absolute joke of it is the only place that I can find this for sale is a couple of Chinese distributors like Gearbest and places like that directly out of China, which, you know, stock a lot of really good products like the RX200, you know, at cheaper prices than you pay in the US. And at, at a Chinese distributor price, they want $76 US for this piece of shit. You can buy an RX200 with the red panels or the black panels or the white 
for 38 bucks US, literally half the price of this piece of shit. And it weighs about the same, it produces 200 watts, does way better job in every area, and won't burn the shit out of your coils. So, the price is fucked, the performance is fucked, the usability is fucked. It's literally a fucking trifecta of fuckness. An absolute joke. It is, by far, I don't think there could be a mod that comes out this year that will be worse than this device. Yep, eSig, fuck you for not listening to anybody who tries to tell you what's what, what's wrong with your stuff, for putting out something that is a pile of crap, and then passing on another second version that is an even bigger pile of crap. Please, never send me any of your fucking products again. I am not interested in wasting my fucking time. I hope you cunts learn something from this. And that is, yep, eSig, pieces of crap. Don't even fuck, just don't even fucking bother. Alright cunts, I think that about sums it up. Price is fucked, mods fucked, everything's fucked. Just, just, just fucking forget about it. Uh, you know, as I said, I don't post this video because I want to hate on anybody or I want to attack anybody or I want, you know, want to just get mad. I feel that I have a public service to just tell you that this mod here, despite the fancy big color touch screen and uh, the temp control and the 200 watts, is just fucked, you know, from, you know, every bloody angle. Alright, cunts. I think that about wraps it up. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's grab something that's uh, maybe not going to kill me. Good old trusty RX200 in the uh, Vapors Cloud Glacier 2. Mm. Alright, cunts. That's about it. Stay off the bloody stinkies. Sub me dicks off. Sub me tits off. Stay away from bad products like this. You know, there's a reason we trust a, a bunch of brands that, uh, ha, you know, are, are true and tested. Um, you know, I try, I try to give them a chance and, uh, you know, just disappointed. Disappointed and uh, I'm appalled. I'm appalled at how fucking crap this mod is. Anyway, have a bloody good one. I'm the Vaping Bogan. I'll put all the links below to uh, my shit where you can uh, support or uh, follow what I'm doing on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, or Patreon or all the rest of it, but uh, I'm not putting a link. I'm not just not putting a link to this device because I don't think that you need to buy one and I don't think you really need to even fucking know about it besides this video. Alright cunts, have a bloody good one.